Ah, Cal. I was hoping we could speak about something. There is a site, quite an ancient one at that, in the northern desert. I visited it during my early days on Jetta, before the Empire's presence grew. What kind of site? One built by those who revered Force users. We know little about them, but I found the experience quite fascinating. Perhaps you will too. I'll check it out. Cal, my friend, have you made the acquaintance of Sister Task? Don't think I have. You ought to introduce yourself. She's our chief archivist, and though I doubt she'd admit it, she seems eager to meet you. I'll stop by. Very good. Uh, just remember to mind your manners. She's Narcus through and through. Have you explored any of the ruins on Jeddah? I have. Quite fascinating. Though my research was cut short due to the growing Imperial presence. Now it's too risky to venture outside, and we send communications only when absolutely necessary. Mm. <laughs> that is why I could not tell you that I returned, my friend. My sincerest apologies. We're just glad you're okay. Please, let me know how your field research expedition goes, my friend. Cordova said he found you while he was seeking other Jedi survivors. Yes. Hard to believe that fate brought us together once again after all this time. Could have used that luck when we were hunting for the Holocron. I know. Luck or fate. I'm just happy my master is alive and here with us. Yeah. And determined as ever to tend to the Jedi legacy and resist the Empire. Have a look around the Archive, Cal. We'll talk later. Glad you didn't have to fly through that storm. So, how's it feel to be piloting the Mantis again? Like being home. Then why the long face? Ah, it's been too long. My pilot instincts are all off. I know how hard it is trying to relearn skills you put to the side. I guess so, huh? Still, I regret ever walking away from the Mantis. Keep thinking I'm gonna slip up. You walked away when you needed to. I know you'll pick it back up in no time. Okay, okay. You're a good friend, Cal. This new arm is gonna make piloting a little different. But I'll get there. I hope. Oh, hey. Seer or Master Cordova's got the answers, not me. Talk to one of them. Have you visited the Temple of the Kyber, brother? Many times. I've been reading about it. It's written that visitors often see themselves in the visages of the Kyber statues within. In a different age, we could visit the Holy City. Witness it fully. In a different age. We suffer the cycle of a force above us. Ever it passes.
I suppose you have both studied Oisin's lemma. Yes, sister. Indeed, sister. Then perhaps you will explain to me the paradox of the fifth book. Oisin explores the antinomy of enlightenment. It's a paradox about the inevitability of cycles. Mm. <laughs> enlightenment is defined as cycle breaking. But per the canons, to be enlightened is to suffer the cycle. The more we strive to break the cycle, the more we embody it. But in accepting it, we become enlightened, thereby breaking the cycle. What do you think? I think the meaning is clear. You can't reason your way to true enlightenment. been here for a long time. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want it. No need. Both. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. My master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, both. Now, I'll show you how to use it. Stay still. Gotta start somewhere. And there you go. Not bad, Jedi. So, how long have you been working for Seer? I do not work for Seer. It's nice seeing you again, Marin. You too, Cal. Good luck. Perhaps I will still be here when you return. Hope so. I can't believe Master Cordova is really here. All that time following in his footsteps. I have enjoyed getting to know him. I've never met a Jedi with a better sense of humor. You've only met me and Seer. That's right. <laughs> Jedi and Night Sister. Together again. So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo? Or it's Moon?
Let's hit the Moon Laboratory first. All right. Maybe we can find something there to help us cross the Abyss. This is a smart operation Sears put together. Why do you say that? All this rock? Natural shielding against sensors. Yeah, and if anyone makes it past all that, the Anchorites have plenty of hollow books to throw at them. <laughs> yeah, you can see how Sears managed to evade the Empire for so long. She makes her own luck, keeping so much of her power held back to achieve a larger goal. Yeah. There's definitely more to where than meets the eye. You two have that in common. Ready to roll out when you are. So good to see you, Marin. What brings you to Jeddah? I came across a group during my travels. Their goal is to hide Force sensitives from the Empire. Have you ever heard of the Hidden Path? Hail, Jedi Knight. I am called Sister Task. I'm Cal. Word of your arrival has spread quickly, Noble One. Master Junda holds you in high esteem. Seer and I have been through a lot together. Jeddah is brimming with lost artifacts related to your order, among other traditions. Should you happen upon any scrolls or other objects of interest, I would gladly exchange some of the treasures I've unearthed for them. I'll let you know if I find anything. We are in your debt, Noble One. Found anything of interest? A remarkable piece. You know what you need. Take it. I'll take it. Thank you. The knowledge you've saved is invaluable. Alluring, no? Try some other components.
Not your typical blaster. Easier than building my first one. Sister. We spotted two more patrols on the ridge. What was that? Head? The they narrowly missed <laughs> Old Aerotech speeder bikes. Never got to ride one.
Master Junda told us of your coming. It is an honor to meet one she holds in such high regard. May I escort you? I have never met a witch before. I have so many questions. We meet again. This way, Master Junda. We are nearly there. So, what do you think? It's old, abandoned, and in the middle of nowhere. It's perfect. What's something you learned traveling the galaxy? That sometimes it is best not to ask questions and to keep your eyes on the path ahead. I'm ready. Then we go together. Fought beast. You remind me of home, you know. Were you hungry? Now you will feed the other creatures. How is the desert treating you, BD? He likes it out here. This Jedi is just a loose end from Close the Clone near. Wars. He'll be dealt with. If he survived this long, he must have some skill. Either way, the up. Uh, and it's coming up!
Ready yourself for combat. We better get this back to the archive. Pilgrim moon never ceases to mystify and delight me. Those who revered Force users clearly built these trials. To what purpose, I wonder? I wonder what that does. Well done, Cal. This desert seems like it goes on forever. Yes, it continues to surprise me.
I need to focus. So I understand you've been trying to fight the Empire on your own. I had some help from a few friends. And where are they now? Gone. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Well, you're nothing if not brave, Cal. And from what Seer tells me, willing to put your life on the line for those you love. Just remember, the Empire will twist our actions however noble to serve their aims. I remember that, Master Cordova. Okay, I'm ready. All right, let's pick where we go next. Heading to the Shattered Moon. Maybe those anchorites aren't so bad after all. Didn't you call them weirdos? That was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. That right? Yeah. Working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush-hush stuff. So keep it in the family. Understood. It was nice to see everyone again. Yeah, it really was. So, Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? That's right. You know anything about this laboratory on the moon, Grease? What am I, a tour guide? I'm a busy Latero. No time to visit broken moons. First Jetta, now this. Oh, believe me, moons are nothing but trouble. Jetta's a moon. Had no idea. Get over here, kid. We're about to land. Rusty. You? A little restless, but we'll be fine. Oh, listen to you, Mr. Optimistic. Hmm. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Cut it out. You're giving me a stomach ache. Sure, it's how you're cooking? <laughs> what was that? We're almost there. Local say the moon's haunted. They couldn't have put this laboratory in a sunnier place? No kidding. But if we find something here that'll help us navigate the Kobo Abyss, so be it. The way Grease tells it, the Abyss is a ship graveyard. 
And now we're on a lunar graveyard. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. Reminds me of the forest array, just on a much grander scale. The station is closed. They're here. Who's here? We've been attacked. Evacuation protocols in order. 